So, um, it was just a question in regards to what Gurudev talked about earlier when he was explaining the dynamics between the mind uh, being the boss and how we operate most of the time from our ego mind um, while our soul is far, far behind of being able to even come in the front. And, um, and I just remembered one of the f first things Gurudev told me when I met him was that the most intimate way, relationship I could develop with Krishna is through Radharani through his most intimate beloved and then thinking about Krishna as Godhead ultimate consciousness and feeling Radha as love pure love that is the coconut as just Gurudev explained my question was that coming beyond duality or getting beyond duality if that is applying or applying Radharani or seeing you know not putting aside our intelligence or our ego or like, you know, just thinking it's bad or we shouldn't have anything to do with it or we should tame it. But applying um, love and applying heart consciousness to our faculties um, as, as egos in this world, as egos maneuvering through the world. And if this will be to to live beyond duality, to not be stuck in the duali dualistic mind of good and bad, and right and wrong. <coughs> yes, this was the question. Rather, rather. This is PhD question. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> well, there are two, two, two parts to the answer. One is the whole basis of the question. So maybe what put it in the is that the answer was promised. The way you formulate the question is, well, <clears throat> I'm an ego, and should I bring more love to my ego? Completely upside down. You're a soul, and the ego is what's foreign to you, to us. Nothing personal. It's not a matter of bringing more love to our minds, to our egos, it's realizing that we're already the love, completely, we're completely loving beings, and that the ego is external, the ego is the extra noise, the extra garbage that we bring to it. So it's much more a matter of understanding ourselves to be loving beings rather than bringing love to our minds. The love is already there, but it's covered, it's hidden by the ego. So start there with that sort of basic feeling. Who we really are are souls, that is loving souls. 100%, top to bottom, every cell in your body. Just driven by love, is made by love, could have saying, I love that all this energy. 
But to get around in this world, then we need the, the ego. You can't take the bus with your heart, you know, you can't, you can't go to work with just your heart. So as material beings, we need a bit of material consciousness too, and this is our ego. So as long as we're material beings, there's going to be some, a bit of ego. Until we come to the place where we go into complete samadhi or leave our bodies, then we can become pure souls. For material life, there's always some small covering of ego of our, of our, of our loving souls, our loving hearts. We reduce it as much as we can, we try to understand ourselves as loving beings. But we are material beings in this material world, which can be good news too, because with these bodies we can do devotion, we can go to temple, our feet can carry us to temple, we can make breakfast for our children, we can, we can uh, give hugs to our fellow devotees, we can, we can give love, we can make love grow in the universe. So being material beings is not evil, but it's not the end of the story, it's not the end of the pilgrimage, the pilgrimage to our hearts. So you call this duality, I suppose that means that the duality has to be there when we're material beings. But as we evolve, this material part of us will get smaller and smaller and smaller. And in principle, when we leave the body, it will become nothing. It will be all pure soul. That's our goal. It will be pure love. So the purpose of life, I suppose, is to prepare our hearts for this moment, to purify our understanding of our souls, our hearts, and move towards this, this moment of becoming pure souls. We do this by listening to love stories, the leelas, imagining in our minds that we're there in the forest with Radha and Mohan. We're training our hearts to be pure, to practice it. We'll never go there in our material lives completely. We'll never just go to the Raj forest and join in and be Vantaris, but we're training to become it when we, when we... So I think the short answer is we can't get rid of the ego 100%, but we can make it small as possible. Thank you. Um, how I understand what you're saying is we are our, in our true essence, in our, like the ego will fall, it will die. What will remain is the soul, and that's the basic of all the teachings. And for, for realizing the soul consciousness, we the question comes up, how? How do I, how do I move from realizing or, or just being this mental mind that is chattering and giving me con concepts and all these things and how do I move from that just in realizing my soul and I guess that's where her Baya devotee friend said calming down our mind and by calming down the ego mind the natural and the true self will occur which is the soul and I guess the difficulty of living in this world is that so much of our lives are premised and constructed around our egos that we have fallen so far away from our true essence and it feels like a labyrinth and very difficult to come to the realization of the true self and for me it has helped me to deconstruct my own ego understand my own ego and understand the traumas and the pains and by understanding them the ego gets silenced 
and then the soul becomes more present. And the soul is love. Is a drop of God in us. about living is that there are clues, there are hints all around us that were souls, that were made of love. There are hints, little in the indexes, indices, like little reminders that God puts all over in the world, almost to play with us to remind us that we're loving souls. And that's, that's the end goal, that's where we're going. The greatest one is love itself. You've fallen in love, I suppose. I'm quite sure. You felt love, ordinary and extraordinary, extraordinary love. Your capacity to do this is your soul. That's the easy part, the, you see beauty in the world, you hear music, these things that make your heart go a little faster, make you perspire, make your skin tingle, you see a sunset, you see a pure, beautiful baby, you've had a few yourself. So these are all the clues that, on the roadmap that Gurudev's talking about, the pilgrimage, the one-way pilgrimage with only two points, here and Govinda's lotus feet. These are the navigation points. I felt love there. I fell in love with that there. That poet, poem made me cry. That music made me feel something. These are all the navigation points on the pilgrimage back to our soul. The reminders that you have a soul and they also help us to find our way back there. And how does that happen? Well, we remember when we fell in love. What did that feel like? Go back in meditation. Go back. What did that feel like? How did my heart move? How did it touch my body? My toes tingled. I could think of only him. He was all, he was full, I was full of him, or her, as you please. I was full of him, and that, think about that, remember that, and your heart will grow. That part of your soul that fell in love is still there, completely whole. And the more you meditate on it, the more it will grow. The more it grows, the more it will push out the ego. There's not room for both. Remember being in love in your meditation every day, every morning. One thing you inspired me <coughs> that, that this traveling is also soul to super soul. Soul has to travel to the goal. And this goal, traveling, is a conflict also. Every moment conflict will come. With ego. With the ego and what ego. Ego and be they will create conflicts. My senses will catch by others. I will catch other senses. My travel is stopped. When <laughs> conflict is start <laughs> to the goal. You see, many diversions I will go. And how to save myself from the conflict and go straight. Mm. Uh, uh, <laughs> how to protect myself mm. 
that I can travel to the reach, to the goal. And that's why we call Guru a navigator, because he helps us to navigate. To navigate. <laughs> he is not a goal. I always bid that they were many angry to me, because this is navigation. When I have, when he is sitting inside me, Chaitya Guru, then he navigates inside. Are you are, what you are doing? You have it this way to go. And he now sit. If we not surrender to him. <laughs> this is the condition. He knows it. Chaitya Guru will not sit inside. And when he sits, we are viewer. The day he sits inside, you see? He says, you understand what Uddhava is telling? My Gurudev said to me, what is conflict? And you have to watch yourself. You create any conflict to the way. <laughs> Outside we see, in conflicts we see, more to buy conflicts. <laughs> this is my false ego, my envy is doing, and other brothers and sisters are doing. <laughs> Of the ambient false ego, many brothers and sisters, his families are there. Uddhava <laughs> Paya, I just I was just thinking about when you said being in love. And I think the most intense love experience I've had has been when I was maybe 12, 13 years old. Me too. Yes. <laughs> the great love of my life when I was 12, yes. Yes. And I just think that when, when you look through, when you look at life, when you look at the world from the perspective of being completely madly in love, how do you see the world? You see the world so beautiful. You move through life like as if it was a dance, as if it was a gift, and everything is beautiful. You see the divine in everything. And I, I guess from what you said, from your answer and from Gurudev's answer, it's like there are these conflicts, these challenges in our life, on our path, but when we have these glasses that my dear sweet <laughs> Didi Karuna talk, told me about yesterday having the love glasses on but she said that this is not glasses it's a true perspective it's the true seeing then life is not suffering I want to share with a message I have read a very one very nice story. Sometimes in rainy season, uh, heavy rains come. And also sometimes thunderbolt fall into the earth. And we are thinking, oh my God, terrible rain, too much, you know, too much raining, too much cold sometimes, our clothing, washing clothes does not dry. Like India also, rainy season also, quite tough season. And then some realized person say, but if we go beyond this crowd, Always sunshine there. Just cloud is covering us, our eyes. So if we go beyond this cloud, there always sunshine there. 
and we have this world. If we beyond the four seven company, always love is there. So just covering this cloud of false ego. <laughs> so if if Karuna is if I see love glass, then we can penetrate this false ego cloud. Actually, oh, actually, behind always love is there. That's <laughs> more. So I want to say. <coughs> Actually, we are traveling because of that pure love. And we are searching that. That love, what I miss it, that love, where to find it? And when we find it, <coughs> when we have this and no diversion, mm. if there is a diversion in that love, mm. then it will cover. Keep alive that love and live to search that love. Other thing is covering us. We have to live in that feeling of love that it will be now happen to me and to find it where to be again there. If you go in the illusion, that will be creating conflict, not peace. That moment was peace, and the thinking is giving me peace. That is the reality. So be there. That is not happened in my 12 years. Now I am in 12 years. <laughs> and I am searching my drug. That is the reality. I am searching that love, what was the, my reality and what I feel it and I cry like a baby. That cry I need again. In that love I need. That is my search. Understand? When my soft bed becomes with the throne and is very painful in that love, I want to sleep, all comforts were there, but not sleep was there because of that love. That love I need, that is pure, divine, and that divinity I want to see. Who is my teacher of love? Anyone who comes to teach me, that is the real teacher of love. Remember the letters, Gurudev? Yes, I, I remember my letters. So I see your letters. I understand. Really? Actually, it's very early. It's very early for love stories. But. Yes, this is the love stories. No. We are talking, this all books is love stories. I know read yes. out of love stories. Love stories all day long. Yeah. All day long is my love story because I want to be in that love. Mm -hmm. This is love stories. Mm -hmm. If it's not love story, it's a why you go in conflict. We don't have time for other you things. See, <laughs> you go in the uh, jnana and karma. Are jnana karma is your love. It was without karma, jnana. <laughs> that time, what knowledge you have. <laughs> but that is the purity. What karma you do for that. Nothing you, you was foolish. Right. <laughs> <laughs>
No qualification was there. That was the time. Your real time when you was child. When you not understand circumstances, they understand. And I said, no, no, no. I don't want to understand. My God. Radhe. He said, love stories. If it's not love story, I'm not interested in that. In all conflict I am creating, so the blockage of conflict be peaceful in your way. These are all disturbances to you in your love. Radhe. Peace is required in love. You need peace alone, yourself, with your lover. You don't need disturbance. That's a peace, my dear. We create disturbance with my false ego. And when most brother and sister, I forget them. <laughs> and around twelve, around twelve, somebody told everyone the biggest lie of our lives. They said, "Ah, you know, life is not about love stories." <laughs> and, yeah. and that was the end. Yeah. That was the end. <laughs> and we believed them. <laughs> so sad. So sad. Yes. Then we have to study. We have to follow rule and regulation. You have to do this. You have to do that. <laughs> That's true. One says that's 12, you know, 11, 12 years at that time is quite pure. Mm -hmm. And we don't think anything else, you know. Yeah. But if we, you know, grown up, we thinking, you know, how, you know, how to do money, how father, mother, told you. Proud. Yeah, uh, you know. Yes. And many kind of doubt is coming, oh, this is, you know, beyond the mind, you know, like a morality, you know, some uh, some people may criticize kind of many worries come. Huh?